Today, we witness the most evil and heinous abuse of power in the history of our country. A corrupt sitting president had his top political opponent arrested on fake and fabricated charges of which he and numerous other presidents would be guilty. Right in the middle of a presidential election, in which he is losing very badly. So this case is not the Espionage Act, but very simply the Presidential Records Act, which is not even mentioned in this ridiculous 44-page indictment. Under the Presidential Records Act, which is civil, not criminal, I had every right to have these documents. Well, that was former President Trump speaking at a fundraising event at his club in Bedminster, New Jersey, last night. The speech coming after he pled not guilty to 37 federal charges related to his alleged mishandling of classified documents. The 2024 frontrunner stopping at a nearby Cuban cafe after the arraignment where he prayed with local religious leaders, met with supporters, and ordered some pastries. Joining me now is Tennessee Congressman, member of the House Financial Services Committee, Andy Ogles. Congressman, good morning to you. I want to read you some Something that the Wall Street Journal editorial board has written with regards to the indictment of the former president. They say, we do believe that Garland's misguided use of prosecutorial power could have destructive consequences, intervenes in the campaign, unleashes political f fury, and it keeps Mr. Trump the dominant issue. Your reaction? Oh. Absolutely. This isn't a prosecution. This is a persecution. Uh, it, it's really a sad day in American politics that you have the Department of Justice that is targeted a former president uh, and, and the idea that you, you have a sitting president who's taken bribes from Ukraine. Uh, we've got bank account numbers. We've got transactions and nothing's being done. And so that's why I dropped the articles of impeachment against Biden. And enough is enough. The American people, uh, quite frankly, are going to elect uh, President Trump to be the next president of the United States. And I don't think Biden will even be uh, the Democratic nominee. Oh, you think Robert F. Kennedy is going to be the nominee? <laughs> Well, we'll see. Uh, I, I think the the, the, uh, the vultures are circling, if you will. I, I think you see a lot of uh, Democrats not saying anything to defend Biden, and I think that's an indicator that they're waiting for the next shoe to drop, and he, he will not be the nominee. This is going to be Trump. This is Trump's uh, primary to win. This is Trump's general election to win, and the latest polling data shows that. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, you're, you're inter you mentioned this, though. I want to dig into this. You're introducing these articles of impeachment against President Biden, but also <laughs> Vice President President Harris. You call the That's president right. a disgrace to the Oval Office. Um, how many members would you say are ready to join you in this to, to try to impeach well, President Biden at this point? Yeah, two.